Tropic plants in the Arctic Circle? Are you kidding me? Yes. You're kidding me? No. No, actually, we're not kidding. There's a place called Axel Hybert Island. It is uh, in northern Canada. It is located in the Arctic Circle. It is the 31st largest island on this earth, and it's uh, Canada's seventh largest island. What's interesting about it is they have found stumps and logs and seeds, cones, leaves, and they say some are so well preserved that it's difficult to distinguish from present day samples. They say the most common tree that is actually found there, the dawn redwood, the sycamore, the Chinese water chestnut, the spruce, the pine, they've all been found there, along with all the other leaves and material matter. Time Magazine even did an article on it and talks about the massive stumps that are there. They lived a thousand years and they were as much as 150 foot tall. And they said there was a thick forest that stood there. They say now you can read the rings. They look modern. But it is 700 miles from the North Pole. It's all the way up in the, in the Canadian Arctic. They say it's hard to believe that anything could grow there, much less these large trees. They conclude that the world was much warmer. They say they go on to say they're so well preserved and they're in a mummified state and you can saw the wood. You can actually burn it. But they're tropic plants, the tropic vegetation. They say they're up to 19 distinct layers of stumps. Let that settle in. 19 layers. So let's think about that. 19 distinct layers of stumps. Well, remember there's a place we uh, actually went hiking in Yellowstone up to the Svesimon Ridge. They say I think it's 27 distinct layers of fossil forest. Crazy, isn't it? Absolutely. And I got to add, that was the most difficult hike we have ever completed. It was it was brutal, to say the least. But they say some of these trees are six feet across. It's crazy the amount of tropic vegetation that verifies there's a warmer climate even way up in the North Polar area. They say the, the fact that lush forests could have grown so far north indicates that the climate there was far more hospitable. They say it resembles that of Northern California today. They conclude again that the entire planet was warmer, they say. For many years, different publications have been discussing the warm tropic vegetation type material and plants that are found in the Arctic Circle. Well, we're the ones with the evidence for that. The Bible says in Genesis 2, 5, and 6 that it did not rain in the original creation. It was a perfectly stable environment. God watered the ground from a mist that came up, and it was a perfectly stable environment. It was the same at the north area as it is in at the equator area. It, does, it doesn't matter. It was all basically the same temperature. The first occurrence of the seasons was after the flood. Noah's flood, that was the first rain that hit this earth. And the first time the fountains of the great deep broke up. And now we have the seasons. And we are told in Genesis 8.22 that now we'll have the seasons forever. Very interesting, wouldn't you say? It makes a trip to the California Redwoods even more thrilling. It is. It is very thrilling to go there. And we're the ones with the evidence. Of course, because the Bible is always correct. Thank you.